State employees going head to head against Governor Malloy because of state employee layoffs. Good evening, everyone. I'm Scott McDonald. I'm Ann Nyberg. There are labor complaints and grievances by one union, and another is launching an advertising blitz. New at 6 Chief Political Correspondent Mark Davis joins us live from Hartford to tell us all about this. Mark. Hi, Ann and Scott. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. District 1199 of the Healthcare Workers Union says this is just the start of a media campaign aimed at showing the harm that the layoffs of nearly over a hundred over a thousand state employees is having. The first ad features 40-year-old Jenny Voronovich of Meriden, who suffers from cerebral palsy. She has never been able to speak and is generally unable to move. The only thing she can do is move her eyes. And a speech pathologist named Mallory helped to program what's called a Toby Dynavox computer so she can communicate with an electronic voice with her eye movements. On May 3rd, Mallory was laid off. Governor? Please bring back Mallory and all the late off-state workers. We need them. Please, Governor. The union says Mallory is the only state employee with the computer skills to help Jenny. Lee Laurie is a retired state employee who volunteered and is now Jenny's probate court-appointed co-guardian. She says Mallory continues to help Jenny while she's looking for a job. She would be devastated if Mallory left her at this point and I was truly gone. That's why she continues to volunteer because it may be a job for, for us when we're actually working, but it's their lives. The governor says he can't control exactly which employees lose their jobs because the union's own rules allow certain bumping rights, which can end up with a person receiving a layoff notice being able to push someone else out instead because of seniority and other factors. And that even though the unions are pushing for higher taxes, the vast majority of residents don't want that. He pledged that Jenny will continue to get state help. We ha absolutely have to provide uh, 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 services uh, to those individuals, and we will continue to provide uh, services uh, to individuals. But we have to do it within budgetary constraints. Now, a spokesperson for the Healthcare Workers Union says late today that uh, Jenny's worker there, Mallory, was not bumped by the union. She actually received a layoff notice from the governor's office. Also today, the union representing the marshals at the state courthouses says the more than 100 layoffs there is jeopardizing safety at the state's 43 courthouses. There have been 300 layoffs in the judicial division, about 825 in the executive division. That's where Jenny's worker uh, got the layoff notice. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.